Outbreak campsite. A couple of empty sites. When we drove through yesterday, there was a couple of empty sites as well. So uh, even though people got them booked out, obviously some people haven't been able to make it, but um, we had the same sort of thing. We left our site at Windabandy unoccupied for a couple of days. Just weren't willing to put up with the road in. We had so many reports of it just being a horror stretch that we just decided not to do it. So anyway, here we are. That's our little campsite. Cape Range in the background. Yeah. This is pretty close. Nice for a uh, paddle and a drift. It's just gorgeous. Beautiful little north northerly breeze blowing, probably. Maybe five knots. But, oh, it's just staying. Absolutely staying. Big paddle out to the to the outer reef. We're not that far offshore. Maybe 600 metres, kilometre, maybe. Anyway, just heading out here. There's a beautiful bommy just out here and um, a really beautiful plateau of reef, if that's what you want to call it. Plenty of turtles out here today. Anyway, keep going, Lise. We're almost there. So here we are, out on top of the bommie. When you see the Olympians do it, it's a lot easier. <laughs> Let's have a look underwater here. They're getting in. <laughs> anyway, let's jump in the water and have a little look. It's beautiful here. Last afternoon here at Osprey and uh, just sitting watching the sun go down. A little bit breezy. We had a beautiful day today. Did some walking, did some hiking, did some swimming, did some snorkeling, chased a couple of sharks away, paddling. some stand up paddling or sit down paddling. Yeah, fed some fish. Tried to catch some fish, but didn't have much luck. Anyway, it's been a beautiful day. Beautiful stay here at Osprey. Certainly is a wonderful place. Forgive me for being exactly who I am. Forgive me for crossing paths once again Isn't it funny that life dictates who I am? For 
forgive me for treating you exactly who you are.